Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining us today. Listen, we are looking at one cool piece. Taking yourself a minute, involving yourself in looking around on this car could net you something that you didn't think was possible. We're going to be looking at a beautiful 67 GTO convertible, right? Professionally reproduced and restored down to a lot of great detail. On top of it, it's got the correct YZ coded 400 Ram Air motor at 360 horsepower. So uh, not only is it great looking, not only does it have great colors, but it's also pretty powerful and it's got some rare uh, pieces inside of it. So let's start with the paint as we start here. This is regimental red. We redid the, the paint on this car and I think it came out great. All right, and I think more importantly, uh, you know that it's fresh, you know that it's done, you know it's color sanded, it's wet sanded and buffed, and then it's show waxed. I mean, it really is, when I talk about a nice wax, like look at that, the way the paper rolls off the car, uh, you know it's ready. I want that for you. I want you to be able to go to a show and under those fluorescent lights and things like that, see the car pull up and look how great that uh, it shines, all right? So we have the, uh, the Rally 2s over here with disc brakes wrapped inside. We got uh, BF British Radial TAs what I consider the best muscle car tire out there, all right? So, so far, we're not taking any shortcuts. All new chrome, stainless, and trim. So I bought all new handles, trim there, bumpers, headlight bezels, headlights. And the reason I'm running down all this stuff here is because, quite honestly, if you tried to do this yourself, first off, it'd be a couple years before you were driving it. Secondly, this is ready to go right now. The season is upon us. And when they say that, you know, sometimes you need to seize the opportunity, this could very well be the opportunity. All right, let's keep walking around the car because I want you to see some more detail, all right? Okay, new boot here, new interior. All right. So check this out. This is a great trunk because these are what these were known for. They're, first of all, they're sporty cars, but they have a nice size trunk in here. This is all splatter coat painted the way it's supposed to be. It's got a new trunk mat in it like it should. Uh, we typically uh, don't put a spare in there unless it came with it. If you want to, it just takes up a lot of the room in the trunk and we could get you one. But it's got the jacking instructions, what have you, which kind of authenticate the rest of it, make it look really nice. All right, okay, so let's go to the interior of the car. And the reason why we're going there is because that's where you're spending most of your time. So as we look at some of the detail back here, new bumpers, new trim, new GTO callouts, and this is one great, listen, first off, this is the last year for this body style, which makes it classic to begin with, all right? Secondly, it's got plenty of room inside to go out with people. Third, this is like Pontiac kind of, this is their signature right there. This is Pontiac signing off and saying, okay, I'm a Pontiac, can you see me now? Anyway, so having said that, we saw the quality of the paint, we've seen the chrome, we've seen all the detail and stuff like that. Let's go check underneath the hood and see if the detail is there as well, because you're gonna wanna take this to a show or you're gonna wanna show some friends at work or whatever, and inside your garage, when you open the hood, this looks awesome. Let's check it out. All right, so let's look under here because I think this is one of the things that I think we do pretty well here is we detail the engine compartment. We have somebody who just does that, all right? So the engine sprayed the correct Pontiac uh, color that's supposed to be. Now keep in mind, over the years, there's four or so different blues that you could get uh, a Pontiac engine painted. This is a correct color for that. The correct valve covers and chrome on there. Coils, EM blue, all right? And then the detail here, like the battery topper, cadmium plating on the, on the power brakes right there. This has power steering as well. And again, some of those things that you forget to ask about, not all these cars came with power steering and power brakes at the time. Most of them did not, and they were all options. This has great options. We talked about um, the HO and being a Ram Air engine. Here's the code for that right here. Stamped on there, YZ. All right, decals. And again, the little stuff like decals are here, and it's all painted and very nice. You can go to a car show, open this up, and it just looks great, okay? Part of the restoration is in the inside detail here, and I just want to show this. So for instance, like this lighting here, the footwell lighting, you say, well, what's the big deal about the footwell lighting? Didn't it come with that? Yes, it did come with that 40 or 50 years ago, all right? That's not to say that it always works on every car ever, and if it does work on a car, that gives you an idea that the restoration may be a little bit nicer than the other cars that are out there. For instance, this as well, too. You can get an automatic transmission shifter, or you can get the his and her shifter here, which is one of the coolest pieces ever. First, come on over here, I wanna show how, the people how this works, okay? For a lot of you that have never seen a his and her shifter or how it operates, what it is, you pull it down here into drive, okay? And that's the normal way you would do it. Now, if you want to, you could um, move this uh, gate out of the way, slide the shifter over, and now we're in what they call the his side or the performance side of the transmission. So you're in first gear, wind it out, boom, 
hit it in the second, boom, and then hit it in the third. All right, you can shift it yourself, which is really kind of cool. And then you can also block this out so nobody uses it. All right, we call that that valet switch back in the day. Uh, all right, so back into the dash and things like that. So uh, again, little detail stuff like this has a factory tack. Not all these cars came with a factory tack. The radio light works here. This has AM FM radio inside the car. Another really nice feature. It has a clock, okay? And it has full gauges as well. It has a power top. Again, you're saying, well, what are, why, so what is the big deal about that? Well, those are the kinds of things that determine a car from being a base car to a car with a lot of great options and things like that. New carpets, new seat covers, convertible top, okay? Console is restored as well. This is not the original wheel, but it looks good in, in, uh, in the wood to me. And that's up to you to decide whether that bothers you or not. This is the original style shifter knob. I just think the two kind of complement each other in the wood theme that Pontiac had that day. You let us know what you want. That's the cool thing about it here. Hey, I love the car. Do you mind changing this, this, or this? And it's like, you know, whatever. Not a big deal. So if you wanted to, we could also add AM, FM, CD sound system with satellite and iPod uh, streaming too right there. It's not very much money. We do it for everybody all the time. It keeps the dash looking stock, which you get to keep all your tunes and things like that. This is another nice feature. All right, so we're closing up the video. Listen, let's run down some of the things real quick. Professionally reproduced and restored. You've seen how great some of the things are on the car from the chrome, the stainless, the beautiful paint, the new interior, new white power convertible top. We talked about power steering, power brakes, the his and her shifter, the cool original AM FM style uh, radio, that factory tack in the dash. A lot, a lot of features and options make you go for a great, great car. And I just have to tell you, the more I look at it, the more I say, you know, uh, there's some great songs that go in a car like this and the Beach Boys and, and even some rock and roll songs just make this car iconic. And it is, uh, it really is. So anyway, 67 GTO convertible, call us 301-816-1000 and we'll tell you all about it.